all right guys today question it's from linear motion and you have to find the average velocity normally to find the average velocity what you need to do is find the total distance find the total time distance divided by time yes that's the average velocity if, uh, just apply your concept let's see whether you can get the answer but this question is a bit of a challenging question let's see the question now an object travels on a straight path with velocity v in the first half of the journey the rest of the journey travels at a velocity v dash using half of the time taken to travel the rest of the journey the other half of the time the object will travel at a velocity v dash v double dash find the average velocity of the journey right so let's draw it first total length of the journey let's take it as d right so now they are telling us half of the journey yes d by 2 they'll travel at a velocity v so the time taken for that journey it will be d over 2v right the rest of the journey this is the interesting part right they are telling v dash and v double dash the time taken for these two velocities is half of the total time for the last half so let's assume the total time taken for this journey is t then time for v dash is t by 2 and for v double dash is 2 by 2 the total time is t for the last half right then we have to create an equation by using v dash t and d right so d by 2 equals v dash into t by 2 right v dash into t by 2 and v double dash into again t by 2 same time so that's the other half of the journey right now we have the total time so this is the time for first half and t so let we have to subject t here let's t by 2 equals let's take out t and t by 2 that's common so we get v dash and v double dash over here so now you can see we can cancel off yes 2 and 2 right let's cancel off v 2 and 2 so 2 2 cancel off so we get t equals yes d over v dash plus v double dash right so the total time will be now total time total time it is d over 2v plus yes d over v dash plus v double dash right now we are getting closer to our answer so they are asking us to find the average velocity of the journey to find the average velocity yes what you have to do is we have to divide the total distance by the total time right let's try to find the total time now right total distance yes you should know now total distance is d right total time yes we got d over 2v plus d over v dash plus v double dash so let's simplify this now right separately let's simplify this right so we have to add d, v o, d over 2v plus d over v dash plus v double dash so the common we have to take the common denominator 2v v dash plus if you don't know how to take the common denominator just multiply these two right 2v 2v cancel off d into v dash plus v double dash and here we get plus d into 2v right so our answer here now is common v dash plus v double dash plus 2v over 2v v dash plus v double dash this is the yeah that's the total time now we have the total time 
total time is this d into v1 plus v double dash plus 2v over 2v plus v dash plus v double dash right now what we have to do is we have to divide the total distance by the total time so the total distance is d and the total time we have found now d v dash plus v double dash plus 2v over v 2v v dash plus v double dash right now you can see d and d cancel off this 2v goes up then we are getting 2v v dash plus v double dash over v dash plus v double dash plus 2v this is our answer right if you could get the answer that's great if you couldn't that means you have to practice questions like this so practice couple of questions like this so you will be able to do a questions similar to this anyway again you have to practice uh, linear motion questions as well remember that so practice lots of questions you will finally get there if you couldn't get the answer yes that means you have to practice couple of questions like this and linear motion questions as well so try lots of questions uh, you will finally get there